The Dark Multiverse Who Laughs is a 10 out of 10 for me. Suicide Squad issue number 11 was a 10 out of 10. It was really good. The ending was really good. Teen Titans number 47. Technically, it's the last issue, but I will give it a 10 out of 10 because respect the Teen Titans. Seriously, I love the ending. The ending was fabulous. It was fabulous. Wonder Woman number 767 is a 10 out of 10 for me. Harley Quinn number two for our, for Batman White Knight was awesome, and it was a 10 out of 10, and I loved it. Red Hood number 51, 10 out of 10, loved it. Batman Superman number 14 was pretty okay. 8 out of 10. Flash number 766 was pretty awesome at best. And I will give it a 10 out of 10 on the awesome meter. Justice League Dark number 28 was pretty, pretty awesome. And I loved it. It was a good story. From front to finish. It was a good story. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Legion of Superheroes. Oh God, number 11 was very horrible at best. And thank God it's going to be cancelled at the next issue. Good job, Bendis. Or should I say Bendis? One out of ten. It was really bad and an eyesore. One out of ten. Batman Beyond number 49. I loved. I loved it very, very much. I will give the penultimate issue of Batman Beyond a solid 10 out of 10. Uh Action Comics number whatever it is, because I cannot remember how many action comic books there are. Possibly over a thousand and twenty issues. Possibly a thousand and twenty-seven. I don't know, I can't remember. What I do remember was the writing was horrible at best. Thank you, Ben This. I will give it a 1 out of 10. Because not only have you assaulted Superman, but you assaulted everybody else that's a character of Superman. You assaulted Supergirl. You assaulted Superboy. You assaulted John Kent Superboy. You assaulted Lois Lane. Screw you, Ben This. 1 out of 10. The Last God, number 10. Pretty awesome book, if you don't mind me asking. It was a pretty, pretty awesome book. 10 out of 10.
Lobo! Portrait of a victim! <coughs> Is just about as 90s as you would think. Yep, Lobo. <laughs> yeah, he he brutally brutally assaults a victim. <sighs> but he does it in a '90s way, where you don't see it happening, but you see the after ramifications of it. And that's not the only thing that he's done. He did it to a couple of other characters in the comic book. And my god, he does it the 90s way. Which is an instant 10 out of 10. I'm sorry if you guys get really triggered, but I was born in the 90s and I'm used to it. Ugh... 10 out of 10. I'm used to all the 90s comic books being very extreme. So this does not, does not trigger me at all. 10 out of 10. Lobo, the blazing chains of love. Good God. <laughs> what can I say without offending any people? Well, <laughs> it was a fantastic book. That's what I will say. Um, <laughs> uh, you have to read the book in order to in order to get what's pretty awesome about this book. Uh, <laughs> it's basically an ad, well, for sexual preferences. Is, that's the entire book. It's an ad for people with sexual preferences. Is. <laughs> yep. And it is pretty much 90s. Like, everything about it is the 90s. Uh, I wish we can go back to the 90s with comic books instead of portraying them as modern and whatnot. Yeah, that book was just about the 90s. Like, just about the 90s. Everything about it was pretty freaking awesome. And I will have to give this book a 10 out of 10 because, my God, we need to support Lobo. We have to have a comic book about him. Now is the time, DC. Let's make fun of um, certain groups of people again. Because you guys have done it once before. We need to do that and make it great again. You know, make comic books great again. 10 out of 10. Primal Force! Primal Force number zero! Is just about the 90s as you would expect. Like, holy cow. It had the extremeness of the 90s. And I love it. Oh my god. It was awesome. 10 out of 10. Gunfire! Number zero. Was the best superhero ever. The best 90s version of a 
Arnold Schwarzenegger as a superhero. That was the best version of Gunfire. He was, he's kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but like with superpowers. Yeah, thanks, Tom King, for killing him off in Heroes in Crisis, one of the suckiest books ever. <sighs> Tom King hates 90s superheroes, I swear to God. But reading Gunfire issue number zero was the best I have ever read. The villain was fantastic. The story was pretty much plausible for anyone to read even after the 90s. And it was extreme. Yeah, you heard me. Extreme. It did not care about sensibility. That's how 90s, the 90s was. It was extreme. It doesn't care. It did not care about people's sensitivities. And I loved it. 10 out of 10. For gunfire! Oh yeah. Wonder Woman. No, jo I'm joking. War of the Gods. Number three. The 1991 event, which I plan to get one, two, and four just to read the entire event was very, very, very good. One reason only. Lobo is in it. And Lobo <laughs> is the best 90s character ever. Yeah. The best 90s character ever that we want to have returned to us in comic book form. I want to see DC Comics have a 12-issue maxi-series with Lobo. Just Lobo. Doing Lobo things. You know what things I'm talking about, wink wink. That's what I want to see happen from DC. I don't care about this future state crap. Get rid of it. Put what we really want to see out there. I want to see a 12-issue maxi-series of Lobo doing manly, manly, manly stuff. Manly stuff. But I'm getting sidetracked over here. I loved War of the Gods, the third issue, because it was pretty much awesome. In a early 1990s-esque fashion. And for that reason, I will give it a 10 out of 10. Read it! Read it! Read it. Read it. And this is the end of my video for YouTube. Um, for this video. I'll be making other videos as well. Just wanting to let you know this is the end of the vi the of the current video. I was going to say that of the current video. So please like, subscribe, and do all that nice, kind things. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.